Hoy, andyan ka pala and nandito na naman ako with another episode of Hoyas in Bloom here at Jillian's Plant Corner. Kind of decided to just go straight into the plant than me blabbering around in the beginning. Let me know what you guys think. I think you're gonna like this better. Yeah, but anyways, so here is our feature. Um, it is part of the Hoya Bella complex or the varieties of Hoya Bellas. If you can tell, it also has a lanceolate leaves, just like a Hoya Bella, but this one has more elongated leaves. Maybe you can tell there's a one centimeter differences or difference from a regular Hoya Bella leaves. But yeah, this Hoya is called Hoya Paxtoni or Hoya Bella variety Paxtoni. Its bloom are quite similar or almost the same as a Hoya Bella, hence it is under the Bella complex because as you all know by now, Hoyas are identified through their blooms, not just their leaves. Like the leaves give them an extra characteristics, but mainly the, the people who are in charge of identifying these plants or confirming its identity do confirm it with its blooms. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the blooms as you can see here they are all facing down almost like um i forgot what they call it but its ambles are facing down it's not upright it's not a ball but yeah almost like an umbrella effect so we're, i'm gonna flip you guys over so we can see it there we go maybe i should get some light or i can just move it around but as we check all these um humbles you can tell like there's one like seven one two three four five six seven seven blooms in each humbles and we do have a little peduncle here that hasn't bloomed yet i think i'm just gonna excuse my hand but there he is so the middle is pink almost glass like you can see that pink like glass pink color and the corolla is white beautiful clear white almost like a, a snow white white kind of thing if you want to um describe it as such but let me see if i can zoom you guys in better there we go so you can see the Corolla or Corona is pinkish glass or almost like lavender. I don't know what color is that, but it's very beautiful pinkish hue. And you can already see the Polinia there, the dark black, the dark or the black dots that is in there. Like the five, oops, sorry, my hand looks so big and dry, but yeah. This is Hoya Bella, or with the scent, not Hoya Bella, Hoya Bella variety Paxtoni. So with, I don't really notice any scent, and I barely notice it having some nectars. But I'm sure it does, because it is a flower, and that's how they attract pollinators, so they can have seed pods. So seven in each humble, and this guy has a bunch of them. And of course, how I take care of this guy, it is in Leka, um, as you can see here. Oops, sorry. There we go. It is in Leka. I just actually refilled its water, um, nutrient water, of course. I use especially now that it's blooming. It that it does need to have some nutrients because leka doesn't hold any nutrients it's just an inorganic substrate or substrate or whatever soil free substrate so it doesn't even have any nitrogen or whatnot in it so we gotta have to really supplement and now that it's summer well spring summer here in california i've been refilling its water reservoir more often humidity wise kind of drops because it's hot uh, but I, I haven't been turning on the humidifier late, lately and ju I'm just letting them be. Still, it is located in the east facing window, so it's getting a lot of light. I think that's why it's also blooming. And if you see here, actually, I'm going to show it to you guys. They are roots. 
under the nursery pot so and those green stuff are from the algae oh you can see me hello uh from the algae from the sun like sun and water so that's what happens but yeah you just gotta be cleaning it up as part of your plant maintenance and again back to its leaves it still has that hoya bella hoya bella characteristic but this is longer yeah still thin leaf hoya and beautiful yeah i got this one actually as a one rooted cutting and one as a free cutting I, but i think one of them died so this is just actually from one plant and it has grown a lot yeah this is just from one plant now and it's happy i think yeah it's thriving so what do you guys think of this hoya bella variety paxtoni are you the kind of person who are collecting thin leaves or small leaf hoyas i know one of my friends is doing that and that's how i found out about this hoya and that is at this leaves underscore or in yeah she has a lot of hoya bella complex hoyas even the variegated ones and such how about you guys how many hoya bella varieties or hoya bella complex is you guys have in your collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please like comment and subscribe don't forget to follow us on on instagram at julian's underscore plant underscore corner and kita kita tayo next time and may you always be blessed